excited about it. We're so excited. We had one of our sponsors uh, put a, a banner, make a banner, uh, that we uh, obviously have here, and we have one downstairs. And again, I, I will start and say this. Um, about last weekend at, at Shepherd. Shepherd's a quality football team, but I will tell you that our kids played for four quarters down there, and they played hard. Um, they kept their head up. Uh, even when it was 53-27 at the end of the game, there was still encouragement out there. There was people running around, and I showed some footage at the end of the game. I'll show footage in the beginning of the game, and then at the end of the game, and you won't say you won't be able to tell the tempo is any different because they're running around the field. It's that important. I just want you to understand that these kids really, really work hard to be good at this sport. Um, and we'll go through some of it. Summer camp started August 12th, goes through August 27th. We had 20 total practices in that time frame. Um, 6.30 a.m. we wake up. We're usually done around 9 o'clock at night. And again, there's breaks in between that depending on what the day looks like. As a student athlete at Shippensburg University, when I didn't go to class, I didn't do very well. When I went to class, I did well. So I'm smart enough to know to go to class, you have a chance. All right? So we are, uh, we are big time on checking class attendance and also stressing to our kids, if you want to be successful, you've got to put the time in and the work. Our kids can watch film off a, a, a system called Huddle. We put it on there for them, and they can watch film any time they want to, which is great. You know, One good thing about Huddle is we know how many hours they put in. So each guy has a, a, an account with Huddle. And our kids could have folded up like a suitcase like that, like that, but they didn't. And that's a testament to them because, you know what, they know the bigger picture here. They know the big, bigger picture of building a program that's going to be su successful on a consistent basis. So I give them a ton of uh, you know, credit for what they did on Saturday. And I'll show you film, and we had a lot of opportunities to make some plays. But we've got to understand that, listen, every play counts. Every play matters. We cannot afford to not do our techniques or know our assignments or, or work hard uh, during a certain play. We've got to do it every play. These kids play with, a pa with passion at Shippensburg University. We coach with passion. We expect them to have emotion when they play. You cannot play football without emotion. Understand that, you know what, it's just one little hesitation or one little mistake can cause a big, big play in the game of football. So, here we go. All right. That's the beginning of the game. I just wanted to show, again, the effort we had, people flying around in the beginning of the game. And you see this clip right here. Okay, and you're going to see the same type of uh, uh, emotion and work ethic at the end of the game. What happens here is right here. It just takes one guy just not to fit where he's supposed to. We're very disappointed in the fact that we couldn't control the football, um, and, and that's all stuff now after we looked at the tape. Um, it tears you up inside, but it's all correctable. Okay, All these young men, they know what we expect of them. We worked real hard on this week of our emphasis. And it's always been secure in the football. You want to be up-tempoing when you're making first downs. Um, so here we are in the first play of the game. Uh, the biggest thing is I used to sit in a cubicle in the front of the office. And then when everything started to hit the fan, I just sand it back to the big office in the back. Now all that is going to the big <laughs> office that I'm sitting in. And uh, that's the biggest change that I have is, you know, uh, the buck st stops with me, everything that goes on with the program, you know, and if you think about it, it's 90 kids, it's 11 or 10 coaches, uh, I deal with the training staff, I deal with, with you, Bill, uh, you know, with anything else like that, there's a lot of people involved with our program, and, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time, and it takes organization, but I love it, uh, I truly love it. it, it's the last nine months it went like this, the longest three hours was Saturday, but the nine months went fast. Um, so, uh, it's, that's the biggest change, is, is that, again, I'm involved with everything that deals with our program. But, again, it's been pretty smooth so far. Yeah, and again, I think, you know, if, if you take another positive out of the game on Saturday, is we got a lot of people in the game, okay? Now, uh, you know, we got a lot of second team people in the game to get them some reps to know, so whenever they, we are counting on them to perform, that they're not going out there shell-shocked, they've already been in the heat of the battle. So, that's a good part. I'm pleased with our depth, and I'm very pleased that we are injury-free right now. Injury-free right now, okay? That we don't, uh, our kids are healthy. Again, our training staff is doing a great job, uh, and, and that helps us. That helps us. So, you know, uh, our
our starters did a good job. Uh, uh, you know, we got to make improvements. But I like our, our second team or our second group to push the starters, and that goes back to that competition deal.